Marley was dead to begin with. There's no doubt whatever about that. Marley was dead. This must be distinctly understood, or nothing wonderful can come of the story I'm about to relate. I must repeat, old Jacob Marley was thoroughly, unequivocally, and irrevocably dead. In the words of the old song, he was not only merely dead, he was really most sincerely dead. <laughs> Name? I beg your pardon. Name. Come, come. This is one of the easy ones. They only get harder from here on. Marley found himself, to his surprise, in a small office filled to overflowing with old books and ledgers. The office's sole occupant, an ancient, rather bulldogish little man, sat peering at Marley over his spectacles. Hem gone all day. If you must know, my name is Jacob Quimby Marley. I demand to know where I am. All in good time, sir, all in good time. Sit down if you wish. That pile there. Marley sat simmering. Jacob Quimby Marley was a proper, tight, dry, pruny old thing. He looked like someone had wound him a turn too tight. <laughs> or perhaps as if he'd bitten into a lemon by mistake and hadn't liked it much. Marley had spent the last 30 years sitting behind an intimidating desk at the firm of Scrooge and Marley. Thirty years at his desk like a dry old spider, knowing that sooner or later another luckless fly would blunder into his web. 